Welcome everyone for the second lesson, week two in stage one. We are learning music theory. So for the first lesson, we learn note durations. We learn note semi brave, quartet, quavers. Now we are learning bar lines. Let's do some revisions, okay? So for a semi brave, how many counts? For a semi brave, four counts. For minimum, two counts. For quartet, one count. And this is called a quaver, and they like to holding their hands. When there are two quavers together, you'll be looking like this. So this is the Wifam family chi. One semiquavers can divide into two minions because two plus two equals to four, right? A minion can be cut into half to be two quartet, and one quartet equals to two quaver. If there are four quavers, they hold their hands like this. So one math questions: How many counts in a four quavers? So two quavers equals to one count, and two quavers equals to one count. One plus one equals to two. Now we have a new members. When there are one tail, this is called quaver. When this is two tail, that is called semi quaver. Two semi quavers equals to one quaver, and they like to hold their hand as well. And quavers can hold the hands with semi quavers as well. So this is very common to see in the group of four. How many counts when they are in group of four? When there are four semi quavers, it became one count in total. So we are learning a new thing called bar line. Bar line is a wall for each house, just like this. For example, you can put four quartets in a house like this. So we will put a wall to define the house. Okay. So the numbers on the top means how many counts in a bar. If that is two on the top, which means two counts in a bar. If that is three. Which means three counts in a bar. So exercise one: How many notes can be put in a bar? Four, right? So which notes are missing for the question mark? Do some math, okay? Two counts plus one count equals to three counts. We are missing something to make it become four counts. We miss a quartet. Right, so the answer is C. Quartet. For exercise two, which lines is the correct line for me to build a wall to cut into the four counts in a in a bar? The answer is one, two, three, four. Blue color. Option B. So if you are Having lessons on YouTube or in a Lunjin Piano app, screenshot these pictures and draw it and place it on a community sessions, and I will check your answer. Okay. Two counts, three counts. Okay. We are learning something new called dot waveform. This is a dot. So whenever you see a dot, this add on the half values of the note. For example, if this is two counts, we put a dot. Half values of two counts with one count. So two plus one, this is a three counts. We have one more exercise. If we put a dot beside a one count. It becomes one and a half count 
because one half. Okay. So there are more exercise. So add time signature in each of these bar. Let's do it together. Okay. Oh, we can learn a new dotted group. This is a dotted with arms group, which is a one count. If we separate the hands, it's looking like this. Okay. When they're holding their hands, they're two hands, which is a semi quavers. And this is a quaver. So you can see this is a one count. So this is easy. One count, two count, three count. So we put three in here. And you put a four be below it because this is a value. Okay. For here, this is one count, three count, four, four. Okay. In here, one count, two count, two, four. For here, one count, one count and a half plus half. This is a two count. And this is a three count. Three, four. This is a homework. Screenshot this page and then answer it and upload on my app. Okay. Another homework. At the missing bar line. Screenshot this page as well. And let's move on. So I have a story to tell you before we finish this lesson. I'm introduced a composer called Mozart to you. He is really famous. And I think most of you heard his song because he has Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I think everyone has heard it before. He is the composer for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And he is born in Austria. He started writing songs at four years old and be playing for kings and queens in six years old. His character is quite innocent, smart and independent. So his favorite instrument is clarinet. You can listen to some of his performance his music on YouTube, go and search Turkey March. So this is the end of week two music theory lesson. So see you next week. Bye bye.